Hey, so I just want to talk a little bit about uh, incisions for breast augmentation when it's implant alone without a lift. Because of course, if there's a lift, then the incisions are determined by the lift. If it's not a lift, then there's options. Uh, so over the years, we've kind of changed, and we sort of started at the if from every fold here, and then we kind of went to the areola, and then we went to the armpit, and we kind of came back to the the fold and realized that that was actually medically the incision that has the least problems. So um, the um, Armpit incision was really nice when you could sort of fold the saline implant up and stick it through a little tunnel and open it up that way. Um, only thing is most people now want the gel implant and the gel implant is sort of has to be full when you put it in. So it makes a much bigger space to go down into that space. It affects the way the implant sits when you lay down. Also, we found that there's more risk for capture contracture or hardening the breast with that incision. The real incision is another way to kind of hide it right along the edge of the nipple or the colored part of the nipple, what we call the areola. Uh, the larger circle that's colored um, and it's and it kind of hides it somewhat because the color changes the, the nipple the skin next to it um, but uh, the uh, that incision also has more risk for capture contracture and that sort of thing so um, what we've and also um, that incision can, can make the nipple get kind of tender and people don't like so if it all else equal if you're not doing a lift right now our society recommends the inframary crease incision the one on the bottom because it's less risk for infections less risk for hardening of the breast less risk for tender nipple and it's very good for a position of implant and imposition that lasts well with time